Hey guys, Phantom Z1980 here with another video to get another tour review of the Ultra Monster Series 500 or Ultra Monster 500 Series Dark Zagi. Now, before we take a look at this figure, let's take a look at the tag he came with. Now, here's a tag that he came with. As you can see, it has a nice image there of Ultraman Zagi. I mean, an Ultraman <laughs> Dark Zagi. Dark Zagi, I meant to say Dark Zagi. So used to saying that. And I logo, not figure number 26, Super Royal logo, and a nice image there of Dark Zoggy based on his appearance in Ultraman Nexus. His data, I'm guessing in Japanese, Dark Zoggy in Japanese, Ultra Monster Series 500 in Japanese, Spark Dolls logo, that's something rare. And on the back, there's some more stuff in Japanese that I cannot read. So, yeah. Pretty sure system like customer service is not accepted outside of Japan. So, yeah. There's that. Now, I got this figure from Mandrake. Thank God I have a Dark Zaki figure that has the life scan and it's actually a spark doll. I have one that doesn't have the life scan and everything, but uh, yeah. So glad I have a spark doll. So I figured, why not make a, make a review on it? Ha, figure. I figured, why not make a review on a figure? Ha, that, that, that was just stupid. Um, yeah. Let's get in closer so we can take a look at the details up close. Really nicely done head sculpt. It's kind of difficult to see because of the the plastic coloration. I don't know why. To me, this figure looks like it's been cast out of this glossy black plastic. Kind of looks like it because most other Ultraman figures they don't shine this this much. Red there for the the big color timer. Red there for the arms. Red there for the body and this. Pretty much the entire body of the figure is just black and red. Red there for the feet. The legs as well. Yeah, on the back is just, well, there's some red paint at least. They at least want the mile to paint the arm fully red or paint this fully red. Compared to just painted only half of it. Even the head too, wow, they can do that much details, wow. So yeah. Majority of this figure has been cast out of this black glossy plastic, I think. Because it's shine is bright. Really nicely done. And on the back, yeah, there's just details, but it's not painted. But yeah. Now, um, articulation-wise, the arms can do a full 360 rotation. Same goes for the other arm. And the waist can do a full 360 rotation, which looks weird. I'm not a fan of it. Yeah. That's pretty much it. Now, size comparison wise. Here it is with a uh, figure that I reviewed um, previously Trigger Truth. So, yeah. <laughs> look, the reason why I compare these figures is because look, black and red. Yeah. yeah. Here it is with um, Trigger Dark since he was treated as a villain at first. Here it is with uh, Ultraman Nexus, the regular version. And yes, this is a Spark Doll. And um, here it is with the uh, uh, Bandai Gigan figure that I got a while back. Really tall. Here it is with um, Transformers RED Soundwave.
And lastly, here he is next to... The Noah! Ultraman Noah. Or the Noah. <laughs> so, um, when I first got this figure, I, 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 I thought that Noah would be like a repaint of Dark Zagi mold. But with um, the wings added. But turns out he's not. He's a brand new figure. Uh, although, I'm not sure which one is accurate. Is Noah supposed to be that that thin? Because I'm pretty sure he was a bit muscly and bulky because of his like cool, shiny armory look to him. Kind of like Zagi. And he looks kind of smaller than Zagi. I don't know. This just looks weird to me. I mean, tell me in the comments down below if, if that's the correct size of them. Very much differences in terms of paint and design and the size. No, no, no. Oh gosh, we're gonna, I'm gonna get copyrighted for that. So, yeah. Anyways, so he's a spark doll. That means we're gonna take a look at the sounds he makes on the. Ginga Spark. So, yeah, that's the sounds he makes on the Ginga Spark. Now, I don't have the X Divisor with me, and I don't have much time to look for it. So, yeah, that's the sounds it makes on the Ginga Spark. It's really unfortunate that it's just that generic, like, transformation or summoning noise that sounds like. Mm, sounds like that. I don't know. I don't know how to make, I don't know how to make the sounds. Uh, yeah, kind of disappointing. I mean, at least it says Dark Zagi, other than Ultra Monster. So yeah. Anyways, guys, so um, that's my review of the Ultra Monster Final Fantasy series, Dark Zagi. Now, what do I think about this figure overall? Overall, this figure is really nicely done. I didn't do a review on the regular Ultra Monster series, um, Dark Zagi, and I figured why not make a review of the Spark Doll version. So yeah. I got this figure from Mandarik, so um, unfortunately he sold out, meaning that it can only be a matter of time for another Dark Sagi with a spark doll that has um, the life scan and the tag to show up. Yeah, I like this figure. Really good overall. Anyways guys, that's my review on the Dark Sagi figure. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram as well. All that will be linked down below. And yeah, guys, hope, and yeah, guys, hope you guys have a nice day and I'll see you all next video. Bye guys.